Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Sons of Western Armenia, Galen Demirjian, Armenian Carpets, President of Artsakh, told about the actions of executive power in the current situation at a meeting with deputies. Villagers are afraid to take their goods to the fields, resident of a village near the border. Let's save Artsakh. Coalition calls on Switzerland to use UN Security Council platform to help Artsakh Armenian. Hachaturian Yer. Haik Melikian solo concert at National Chamber Music Center. The statesman political figure acting at the intersection of two social orders showed a special devotion and concern for the fate of his people. At 42 years old, was elected first secretary of the Communist Party of Armenia, ruled the country from 1974 to 1988. Graduate from the Polytechnic Institute, he began his career from the master of the Yerevan Electrotechnical Plant to the director, the secretary of the Yerevan City Committee. Dalian of the CPA Central Committee had his own concept of the future of the country. He imagined Armenia as a country with a less power and resource-intensive developed industry, intensive agriculture and environmentally safe as Switzerland was. Being a supporter of the policy of global transformation of the country, Demircian consistently insisted on the need to develop a special concept of reconstruction which could cover the entire scope of socio-economic problems, regional problems, ways and methods of solving them. The lack of such approaches in the CPCU Central Committee and grounded criticism of the perestroika process in our republic and a fundamental disagreement with the center on the issue of interethnic relations. His position was clearly formulated in 1988 in the resolution of the CPA Central Committee Plenum of February 28, 1988, where the main reasons for his resignation in May 1988. In 1991 until 1999, Demirjan became the head of one of the largest enterprises of the republic, Armelektromashinka CGCA. The difficult situation in the country resulted in Karen Demirchan's return to active political activity. In 1998, he was nominated as a presidential candidate. In May 1999, Karen Demirchan was elected chairman of the National Assembly. He was able to give a coordinated character to the development of the Republic, priority tasks of the development, key ways of structural policy, godliness, indicating the great perspective of a reasonable and purposeful implementation of the main potential the human factor were specified. In a short period of time, Karen Demircian was able to unite almost all the leading political forces of the Republic, Armenians all over the world around him and began to implement programs to restore the country. On October 27, 1999, Karen Demircian was against Arxian, five deputies of the National Assembly and the minister fell victims of an unprecedented political terrorism. Armenian carpet holds a special place in Armenian culture to this day. Despite constant technological innovations, the Armenian carpet continues to be an integral part of everyday life and cultural heritage. In spite of scientific and technological progress, Armenian carpets have not lost their value. The tradition of Armenian carpet waving is preserved up to nowadays, presenting the unique culture of Armenian carpets to the world. Megayan Carpet Company, functioning since 2000, has a century-old history and is engaged in the production of Armenian carpets, restoration, preservation of ancient carpets and also in exhibitions. Faithful to the methods of creating unique carpets, Meherian Carpet Company continues to use wool and dyes of the region and traditional methods of carpeting. The traditions of Armenian handmade carpets are also preserved in Artsakh. The company Karabakh Carpet was founded in 2013. The company mainly produced traditional Armenian carpets, in particular typical Artsakh carpets. The company also produces eco carpets made of natural undyed wool threads, preserving the traditional methods of carpet making. Eco carpets can become Artsakh's new calling card. Exceptional samples of Armenian handmade carpets can be seen in the Museum of History of Armenia, in the National Museum of Ethnography and History of Liberation Struggle, in the Center of Folk Art named after Hovane Sharabeyan, Zitokstian House Museum, National Center of Armenian Carpet. On June 2, President of the Artsakh Republic, Arai Karutunyan, met with the National Assembly deputies. Arai Karutunyan presented the latest military and political developments around Artsakh, touched upon the Armenia-Azerbaijan negotiations process and the steps of the executive power in the current situation, reports are Press sitting the press service of the Artsakh president. President Karutunyan asked for the deputies' questions related to the domestic and foreign issues. Necessary joint actions were discussed. 
The village of Kahnut in Sunik region became a border village after the last war. About 40 people live here. This school and kindergarten of the frontier village have been closed for more than three decades. In the 90s, after the beginning of the movement, the shelling started, the school was closed, said Rico Ohanian, a resident of the village. Grisha Tamrazian, fellow villager, enumerating the problems as the villagers from the borderline villages were left alone. People are afraid to take their goods to the fields. The Turks can come and take them away. Everything is very complicated. After Azerbaijani installed a checkpoint on the Goriskapan Highway, the government promised to build a bypass road for Vorotan, Shurnuk and Bartsravan villages, provided raspberry seedlings, agricultural equipment. At the moment, with the help of the Red Cross, fields that had been closed for 50 to 20 years have been opened and distributed to the villagers. The sowing of grain has been carried out. By next year, it will be clear within the framework of our monitoring whether it is profitable or not, said Sasun Sarkisyan. Ujani's village head. Ujani's village had set over 30 hectares of land in the villages under the aim of Azerbaijani troops, and the villagers cannot work there. The government of Western Armenia, which is responsible for the right to life of its people, as the successor of the Bosnubar state of Armenia, which includes Western Eastern Armenia, Artsakh, Nakhijevan, and Javakh, is outraged for the third time over the trampling of rights of its citizens living in the border regions. We welcome the assistance of the International Committee of the Red Cross to the villagers, but the silence of other international structures is unacceptable. The government of Western Armenia as a mediator will come to international instances for the first time. The Safe Karabakh coalition called on Ignacio Gassis, head of Switzerland's Federal Department of Foreign Affairs, to use the Swiss presidency of the UN Security Council to help the besieged people of Artsakh. Specifically, the letter urged Gassis to use the remaining few weeks of presidency of the UN Security Council to advance a resolution that would protect the vulnerable Armenians of Artsakh and recognize their right to self-determination. The letter states that in February, the Foreign Relations Committee of Switzerland's Council of State passed a resolution urging Switzerland to work on resolution in the UN Security Council that would end the blockade and ensure international humanitarian airlift to Artsakh. The coalition urged cases to use the Committee on Foreign Relations resolution as a political basis for action in the UN Security Council. June 6, 2023 is the 120th anniversary of the great Armenian composer, conductor, people's artist of the USSR, Aram Khachaturian. Armenia and abroad are preparing for the Jubilee events. It was reported by monks. A large-scale and multi-genre program of events devoted to the 120th anniversary of Aram Khachaturian was worked out, competitions, festivals, tours. The program includes the leading state ensemble of the Republic, the National Philharmonic Orchestra of Armenia, the National Academic Theatre of Opera, and ballet after Spendarian, the State Symphony Orchestra of Armenia, Khachaturian Trio, and the State Chamber Orchestra of Armenia. Concert will be held in France, Italy, Greece, the USA, Canada, Argentina, Great Britain, Mexico, Russia, Georgia. Thus, implementation of the mentioned programs will contribute to the revaluation and popularization of the invaluable heritage of the great composer abroad. The year of Khachaturian will start with a solo concert of Haik Melikan at the National Center of Chamber Music. On June 14, Honored artist of Armenia, famous pianist Haik Melikian will give an exclusive concert program including Khachaturian's masterpieces, Ashok music interpretations for piano, the pearls of Armenian classics, which left an undeniable trace in Khachaturian's creativity. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. Mm -hmm. 